Hi, grade one. Today we're going to be looking at a new topic called position and direction. So moving on from time. Now, if you put your two hands up in the air, you can see that the hand that makes an L shape from your eyes is the left hand. So have a look and see. I can see that that makes an L shape here between my finger and my thumb. That is a capital L, so this is my left hand, okay? So have a go at it there, see if you can identify which one is your left hand and your right hand. It's always the one that makes the capital L. And then, of course, the hand that does not make the capital L is your right hand. So looking at it, this is a backwards L, so that is my right hand. So the one that makes the correct L is my left hand, so left uh, L for left. Um, making turns. So looking at making turns clockwise. So here we have the frog. If the frog turns to the right, this is my right hand because I know it's not the, the uh, capital L, it is turning clockwise. So let's have a look and see if he turns to the right. So he has just went the whole way around. We call this one whole turn or a full turn. So now if we make turns anti-clockwise, let's have a look and see. So you're going from the opposite way. If the rocket turns to the left, it is turning anti-clockwise. Oh, sorry, let's go back a little bit. So anti means the opposite. So anti is the opposite of clockwise. So we have clockwise and then anti-clockwise. So it's going the opposite way. If we make further turns, the kite might turn part of the whole turn so it doesn't do the whole turn it's only doing part of it the kite will turn a quarter of the whole turn clockwise now you know from working on your clock you know what a quarter is already don't you so if you have your clock there you can take it out and have a look and see i've got my small one here so if we're i know we're going clockwise i know it's going to be going this way and if it's quarter I think I know where the kite might end up. <gasps> Look at that. It's going, a quarter means there are four equal parts, which we know, so that he is just, the kite has just went one quarter. Making turns again. So if the a quarter turn anti-clockwise, so we know that, that, that the teddy bear is now going to turn anti-clockwise. If you, I'll give you a second to decide which side it might turn. So the bear will turn a quarter of the whole turn anti-clockwise. Did you get that right that you knew it was going to go the opposite way? Because remember, anti is opposite. The bear turns one of the four equal parts, making ooh, a half turn. Think about it. If the, the kite and the teddy bear turned ha a quarter, how, how, where, what position do you think the owl is going to turn? Okay. So the owl might turn part of the whole turn. So the owl will turn half of the whole turn. So if he's standing upright, what way do you think he's going to end up? Sorry now. Perfect. A half turn, half means there are two equal parts. And as you can see, he was upright. Now he's upside down. Well done. So making turns, we're looking at a half turn anti-clockwise. So the owl went clockwise, the bike is going to go anti-clockwise at a half turn. So let's see where the bike ends up. Well done. Remember, turning left is anti-clockwise. And I know, I know that because I have my L here. But remember, it's from your eyes this side. I know it might look different on my screen down here, but it's from your eyes. If you were to hold it up, you can see the L. Well done. So here is a robot. So now it's quiz time. The robot has rotated one whole turn anti-clockwise. Which picture shows the robot now? So it's turned one whole turn the whole way around. Which one do you think it is? Is it going to be this one that's a quarter turn or this one that's upright? Let's have a look and see. Correct. Because he has just turned one whole turn, which means he's back up uh, to the correct position again. Here is a toy boat. The boat has rotated a half turn clockwise. So think about it clockwise, 
am I going, if you look at your clock, am I going to be going, sorry now, this way one to, uh, coming out one because it's clockwise, or am I going to be going anti-clockwise, so the opposite way, correct? We are going to be going a uh, clockwise, which means that the boat is here. The boat is upside down. Oh. I can answer, sorry now. There we are, perfect. A little bit of a, a glitch there. How far has the fish rotated? So thinking he's not rotated uh, the full turn, has he rotated a half turn or a quarter turn? What do you think? Well done. He has rot rotated one quarter turn clockwise. How far has the ladybird rotated? So let's think about it. What was your answer? One half turn anti-clockwise or one half turn clockwise. Now we know the, the, the ladybird has turned half, but we don't know which way if it went anti-clockwise or clockwise because we didn't see it turning and it's not, uh, at, it's not at a position that we can identify that. So well done for all your hard work. So there is an activity uh, attached to this and it's all about putting your animals into um, half turns, whole turns, anti-clockwise and, and, and clockwise. You can take videos and you can put them up onto Toddle. We look forward to seeing it. Bye.